you're welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be talking about the last project evaluation technique and that is internal rate of return also known as IRR internal rate of return is under the techniques that do consider the time value of money internal rate of return is a discount rate which equates the present worth of future cash flows which is present value to the initial outlay of the project or it's a discount rate above which a project generates a negative contribution when we are calculating for the internal rate of return we have to follow some three steps and the first step is determining the cost of capital of the project the second step is to use the cost of capital to determine the NPV net present value of the project then the third step after determining the NPV when the NPV is positive you determine an alternative NPV using an assumed rate of return higher than the cost of capital you and you get a positive and assume another rate of return higher than the cost of capital that you use to determine the previous NPV but where the NPV is negative you have to determine NPV using an assumed lower rate of return compared to the cost of capital lower rate of return compared to the cost of capital that you used but when it's positive you get a higher rate of return yeah ideal of the above statement is to generate one positive NPV and one negative NPV to allow interpolation. It's the reason why when you have a positive NPV you get you use another higher return rate of return so that you can be able to get a negative NPV and when you have a negative NPV you use a lower rate of return so that you can be able to have a positive NPV. To allow interpolation IRR is a rate where the project NPV is equal to zero and from our previous video the formula for NPV was summation of R equals to summation of cash flows minus initial outlay equals to zero yeah and in order for us to get the IRR of the project we get we use this formula R is IRR equals to LR plus NPV at L out of NPV at L minus NPV at H then times into brackets HR minus LR where IR R is the internal rate of return LR is the lower rate HR is a higher rate NPV at L is NPV at a low rate NPV at H is NPV at a high rate and that's the formula for calculating for IRR of a project the example says a project has cost of capital of 16% with a net present value of negative 1825 and the following are the cash flows the cash flows are as for one the cash flows of 87,250 for year two cash flows of 81,857 year three the cash flows of 77,493 then for year four cash flows of 113,134 and the initial outlay is 250,000 then required they want us to determine the IRR of the project and we said previous IRR we follow three steps and the first of capital 16% then the next step is to determine NPV of the project they gave us NPV as negative 1825 yeah then the third step we said if the NPV is negative we determine a lower rate compared to the cost of capital so we let's use a lower rate of 10% so 
so we are going to determine NPV of N NPV at 10% in order for us to be able to calculate for IRR of the project. Calculating for NPV at 10%, we shall first draw a table and we shall first have the column of years from year 1 to year 4. Then we shall have the column of cash flows. We shall indicate all the cash flows as they were given in the question. Then we shall have another column of present value interest factor at 10%. You can either calculate for it manually or use the present value tables. Present value factor, we use the formula of 1 out of into brackets 1 plus R power T. Yeah, and for year 1, it's 0 0.9. 909. Yeah, we indicate it in the table and then we do the same thing for all the years. Those are the present value factors for all the years. Then we shall have another column of present value. We get present value by multiplying cash flows times the present value interest factor. So for year one, we shall have 87,000. 250 which are the cash flows times present value interest factor which is 0 0.909 yeah, and we get 79,310 and that is the present value for year 1 1,310 yeah, we indicate it there then we do the same thing for all the years then after we get summation of cash flows which is 282,417 and that is the summation of the cash flows. Get NPV at 10%, we shall get summation of cash flows minus the initial outlay. Summation of cash flows was 282,417 and from the question we had initial outlay of 250,000. And our NPV is 32,417. It's a positive figure. Yeah, so now we have a negative NPV and a positive NPV. Therefore, we, ha we shall be able to calculate for IRR of the project. The formula for IRR is LR plus NPV at a lower rate out of NPV at a lower rate minus NPV at a higher rate then times higher rate minus lower rate and we had a lower rate of 10% our higher rate is 16% NPV at, at a lower rate which is 10% is 32,417 and NPV at a higher rate which is 16% is negative 1,825 Therefore, we are going to substitute in and get IRR of the project. When we substitute in, lower rate is 10%, then plus NPV at a lower rate, which is 32,417, then out of NPV at lower rate, 32,417 minus NPV at a higher rate, which is negative 1,825, then times H, the higher rate is 16% minus lower rate, which is 10%. Yeah. When we put everything in the calculator, our internal rate of return is 15.68%. Yeah, that is the internal rate of return. Decision, we shall reject the project since the IRR is less than the RRR. RRR is the required rate of return and required rate of return is the same as cost of capital. Our cost of capital was 16% and our IRR was 15.68%. So it's less than the required rate of return. Therefore, we reject the project. The decision criteria for IRR is when IRR is greater than RRR, which is the required rate of return, you accept the project. But when the internal rate of return is less than the required rate of return, you reject the project. Then when the 
internal rate of return is equal to the required rate of return you either accept or reject the project depending on the objectives of the firm let's look at the advantages of IRR first it recognizes time value of money and then it uses cash flows which are consistent with the objectives of the firm the objective of wealth maximization the advantages of the internal rate of return yeah thanks for watching that was all about the internal rate of return which is IRR thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends yeah